Hey, people. Intro here. 1v1. Calderis. Refinery. Blue side. Fufu Hunter. As a war boss, a melee hero will go through objects. Very good offense. Disruption and support from the front lines. The Goths elite scheme is in this. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. The war boss looks awesome, though. And on the red side, it's the Tenso. As a plague champion starts off with the damage of a time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support, can also repair your double shooters. We have double heretics. Is the war boss gonna go mid? It seems like this doesn't happen too much anymore. They wanna fight the edges. Yeah, war boss is going east side. I'm gonna run into the plague champion and maybe one of those heretic squads. They can still deal with it if they get a good stomp, of course. Double shooters alongside. I wonder if the sluggers will just go straight to the power on the west side. They should be able to slice up the fort heretics pretty well. There's some damage on the war boss. He doesn't like it. Backs away. Well, that's not going to calm him down, is it? I mean, how does he even take damage in that thing? It's like a tank hull around him. Double shooters alongside the war boss now. There's a war. Big champion trying to make him waste it by staying as far away as possible. Here comes some friendly to the Plague Champion heretics. There's some noble worship. You can use that to back off. And I guess they're just going to try and hold up the Orcs so they can't really fight them. CSM are off on the west side of the map. Because the heretics need help against those sluggers. And now they can decap the wreck point. Raw boss will do some decapping here after they mop this up. Almost got the Plague Champion down. There's a Doom Blast and they flee. Did they lose one? Oh, they lost like three models doing that. Just heretic things. Are they 13 to reinforce these days or 12? It's 12. Havoc's on the way for the Tenso. Help control the movement of that war boss with some suppression. Spike your armor on the way. We might see angry bits to help get in and around those Havocs. Come charging at them from an angle. And they are kind of done for at that, that point. Play Champion did not fully heal up. But they have the Nuggle of Worship, of course, in the field. And that was Fetid Armor on the way. Another tool to use to limit the movement of that war boss. It does. I think it suppresses every two seconds for eight seconds. So you can frustrate a war boss for a while with that. There's a stomp on the heretics. Go straight after them now with that 42.5 DPS melee weapon slicing them up. Are they going to wipe? Surely. Yep, they wipe. Not the end of the world, losing default heretics though, is it? 484 to 500 on the VPs. There's the Havocs doing their thing. Limited firing up with Heavy Bolter to suppress units. Some units, of course, are immune. But nothing in the Orc roster is in terms of infantry anyway. Warboss gets around. And there's that spiky armor in for the health regen. And the melee, the damage on melee hit when being hit. Which is really bad news for the heretics if they try to get in on the Warboss. Slugger's got messed up pretty badly there. Thanks to the unholy stench. Yeah, 300 coverage damage and a little bit of piercing damage every two seconds. And Slugger's wipe. So it gives you some more health. Does not give more health regen though. Always kind of annoys me that the Plague Champion does not good, not does not get good natural health regen with their war gear and stuff. All because I guess they have the Noble Worship. Havoc's gonna move up here. They might try to lock down the power a bit. Shooter boys, just two models run away. They have their big shooters though. And Storm Boy is on the way now for Fufu Hunter. They can, of course, jump the Havocs as a hard counter. And with their power weapons, they could delete them pretty quickly. There's a turn of war in on the CSM. Trying to get some power bashing done. I guess the Tenso is just going to go tier 2 from this. Did they get grenade launchers? They did not. Some Nurgle Worship at base there. Yep, they're trying to lock down the power. Storm boys will jump them, and they're just going to need to instantly retreat over there, I think. 420 to 500. Can they get the gen down? Oh, they did. This one's being rebuilt here. 
there to jump from the Storm Boys and early retreats, and they do not drop a model. TSM able to stay in play as well by reacting quickly enough. Two to one still. There's some Nurgle worship to help out the CSM. They are taking hits from the war boss, but that is an unhelpful special attack there, Mr. War Boss. Completely missed everything. Heretics with an inspiring champion, Doom Blast and Run. Again, don't really want to engage him because of that spiky armor and of course because of the stomp. Now in on the plague champion. Who does not pop unholy stench, so maybe they're waiting for the storm boys to join the front. There's the jump. Plague Champion gets closer, pops the unholy stench. And now, can they stay within 15 radius to keep them suppressed here? Nope, they're off the field. There's Ard Boys up on the Storm Boys now. Heretics caught in retreat. Storm Boys famously bad at chasing stuff, though. Even though they can jump. Short range jump there on the CSM. I mean, he lost a bunch of Heretics, but I don't think he lost any other models. Yeah, a lot of heretics went down on us. Almost, well, it's like 170, 180 rec to reinforce all those heretics there. Look at those Havoc Bolter guys doing some work. Killed themselves a storm, but they didn't have the energy to jump there. Or they would have, I assume. 364 to 500 on the VPs. Tier 2s all round. Fufu Hunter went first into a weird boy I would think but you never know shooters grabbing the central VP there's a 2 to 1 cap for Fufu Hunter have some VPs to make up some good early work up this east side by the Tenso wasn't it Fufu Hunter wasn't really able to apply pressure on this side but maybe they can now shooter boys having a look maybe war boss level 2 it's a death dread on the way for Fufu Hunter Okay. Put a bit of damage on the war boss. Backs them off a bit. It's time to have a look here. And they get shot at. Some Daka aiming what's that, suppressing the Havocs, but now they're shut down by the Heavy Bolter and have to flee. Some more Daka on the Plague Champion there. Can a play champion outshoot the super boys with their bolt gun? I wonder. There's that unholy stench again. It's been great so far. Surprised they haven't got the angry bits in. You can charge in before unholy stench even gets off. At least you can knock stuff down, kind of thing. Storm boys now have their knob leader. He's got a heavy melee, big old chopper axe, and they've got their improved rocket packs too. Why is the screen shaking so much here? I don't know. He's got a screen shaking going on. Three, four, five to four, seven, six. Hey, yay! Hey, Chaos Dreadnought on the way for the Tenso. It'll be very fun to see a Mark of Corn Dreadnought here to punish the Storm boys, maybe. Fufu Hunter's next choice is going to be vital. I think they should go for a weird boy. But they might just go tank busters once they see the Dreadnought. There's Touch of Nurgle on those heretics there. Makes the Storm Boys jump for their lives. Death Tread with burners and bits. Burning down the gens. Might have gone double Death Tread, really. That's super risky, I feel like. When there's Havocs up, that's pretty risky. So we might see these guys go into Marco Zinch once they see that second Death Tread. Assuming it's not cancelled at some point. And here's the Chaos Dreadnought. Starts off with an auto cannon and minor meta resistance. But it can poke at the Death Dread for sure. There we go. Beach Burst doing around 50 damage, it looks like, maybe. Making it think again about piling into melee, though, hey? Chaos Dreadnoughts have a thousand hit points and around about the same amount of DPS as a Death Dread. The Death Dread does have full melee resistance. A champion might finish off these Shooter Boys if they're not careful, doing a little reload there. 
Storm Boys coming in. There's the second Death Dread, and it does have burners and bits. So it's up to the 950 hit points with those burners on. The Havoc's got something already. No, they haven't. They've now spotted the Death Dread, so we'll see if the Tensor responds on the Havocs. Yep, Marco Zinch on the way. Double Death Dreads in on the Dreadnought. Storm Boys with user choppers and hard boys buffs on them from the war boss here. Getting kind of messed up the way. Eh? Had to jump out. Heretic's done a great job. Plague Champion wasn't, didn't even need to use Unholy Stench there, I don't think. Now they're getting shot at and they have to run. We might see um, Tower Call war boss as well to help get this Dreadnought down. Last cannon. Can it finish off the Death Dread? It does. Now this one needs to be very careful. Heretics repairing the Dreadnought. Another shot. Yep. Gonna break line of sight here. 3, 4, 5 to 4 to 1. War boss is moving up, suggesting maybe is he getting powerful? Nope, they're backing away now. They're gonna lose both of these, both of these death dreads, yeah. I don't think that was a good shout getting that second one. They wanted to be super aggressive. And they were super aggressive. But then he lost them both. And that's a lot of resources pumped into those things. And they did not get the, the Dreadnought either. Tank Buster's on the way now for Fufu Hunter. Warboss almost level 3. Plague Champion halfway through level 2. Still got some heretics to see SM. How are they doing level 2? That's kind of doesn't really have a good target, so they might try to go for a power bash. Here comes a Nurgle Shrine. It looks like they are moving up to shoot at power gens or something. Dreadnought is stomping around the mid. Can't cap points, of course. Storm Boys level 2. Is it worth them jumping the Dreadnought, do we think? If they do have a heavy melee weapon. I'm not sure if they'll just get... Busted up by it though. There's that Nurgle Shrine doing its Nurgle healing. If you worship the Shrine, you can also reinforce off it, which is very handy. And it suppresses nearby enemies. Don't know how close they need to be. There we go. Just saw those Storm Boys get suppressed. But even the War Boss is getting suppressed over there. Look. Oh, I think they used Unholy Stench. That's right. Yeah, Storm Boys are kind of getting torn up here. Hard boys on them, which is helping. Why is the Dreadnought not on melee stance there? Would have killed those Storm Boys, I think, if they were. And now we see a power claw up on the war boss. Scares off the Plague Champion. Could now maybe just tear through this shrine. Or through the Havocs, of course. Oh, shrine suppresses him, though. Yeah, I don't think they can do much. Might have been worth putting a bit of damage on that shrine there, but I'm sure they really wanted to tear apart those habits instead. Weird boy on the way now for Fufu Hunter. I mean, there isn't, as I said, there isn't really a great target for those habits, so they're going to try and power bash now. Heretics on repairing duty. This weird boy needs to do a lot. I think, I think tank busters with their barrage can one shot a shrine. I think. Maybe a barrage and a volley would be enough to do it. Obviously, it can't move, so it's easy to hit with your barrage. Power bashing last cannon. Pretty damn effective. Storm boys. Oh, they didn't fully reinforce. They need to do quite a lot of heavy lifting here, I think. They need to be able to jump in and hold their lines. They can throw Ard Boys in again when they need to. Trying to avoid friendly fire on the Storm Boys as well. Trying to choose a different target for the Weird Boy. Take Champion level 2. Trying to grab that contested power. The mid is red. The Dreadnought has been fully repaired. Does not benefit from the Shrine though. It does benefit from regular Nova Worship. Gonna be a Doom Blast, is it? Nope. Going after other targets, there's a tank buster barrage. Weird boy gets a decent warp vomit on the heretics there, forces them to retreat. 
Now they can tear this shrine down, I think, and cap mid. Is that Warpath? I think that's Warpath active. Yep, on the weird boy. Speeding up these units and giving them some damage resistance. Dreadnought survives for now. You guys need to dacker that shrine down. There's a the tank buster barrage. And down goes the shrine. 296 to 344. And they cost 15 power, those shrines. Chosen Plague Marines on the field now for the Tenso. Unique to the Plague Champion. Might find it difficult to approach when there's a weird boy around. Because of the knockback and because... Oh, they got a Dreadnought. And because of the Warp Vomit, of course. They're very... They're not very good at approaches, but they the Chosen Plague Marines. Much more effective at, for instance, the Storm Boys jumping in to fight them. That was a Bomber Boy shot, and they're dealt with. There was a Warp Vomit going in. They got the mid, 294 to 338 now, with a 2 to 1 cap. What's this? Oh, Havoc's capping stuff, I guess. What else can they do? And there's that War Boss coming at our base now, level 3. Chosen Plague Marines did not drop a model. These guys have good health regen and a chunk of hit points, but not very durable armor. They're only light infantry, so the Shooter Boys will do some good DPS against them. And of course, they can suppress them with the aiming. What's that? They don't have their knob leaders, though, these guys. Some Gretchen's up with ammo runs. So they get some little big shooters of their own, which are adorable, and they can boost allies in range by 10% range damage more reason to get the knob leaders maybe to boost that damage even more because they have some good twin link shooters those knob leaders 10% more on top of those would be good CSM with their aspiring champion they can get some good single entity damage with the slaughter on the weird boy maybe not sure how else that, how else they can really go after him though guess the Plague Marines could just run at him. See if that works out. There's another Shrine going up. And that's going to be great for the Chosen Plague Marines. They just kind of hang around the central VP with Shrine support. 2-1 to one for Fufu Hunter. Slight VP lead. Trying to poke around the sides here. Fufu Hunter. Decap some stuff. Don't really want to fight head, um, head on with a Shrine now. I don't know if they know a new Shrine is there though. What is this? Tank Buster's capping. They might go for a power bash. There's no other vehicles on the red, the red side, of course. Lots of damage on the weird boy there. Goes for the foot of Bork. Misses it. Storm boys. Are you going to jump, fellas? Oh, there's a bomber boy. That was a strange target for it, though. Were they trying to finish off the Blade Champion with it? I thought they were going to target the double heretics. That was a very juicy target for a bomber boy, and they didn't quite do it jumped into the shrine so now they know there's another one and that was Noble's Rocks from the Chosen Plague Marines which gives you zombies when stuff dies quite handy and they'll heal up so fast at the shrine here's the war boss does have some darker support still suppressed by the shrine CSM gonna pop their slaughter I don't see it yet there it is increasing their DPS because I think it removes, yeah, it removes um, cooldown on their weapon to just shoot and shoot and shoot. Good hit on those chosen plague marines. A darker fight here. They got rid of the CSM, but there's some grenade launchers here now. It's bad for this gob of stuff. Yeah, really bad. Weird Boy hits those guys pretty good and everything runs and everything survived, I think. How much does it cost to reinforce Gretchen's, I wonder? Storm Boy's using their jump to get mobile quickly. The Tenso's gonna cap the mid back. Tank Busters are bashing power though. It does cost you one power to reinforce a Gretchen. That's a pain in the ass. We've got all the gens down. There's only three of them, which has cut their DPS by a quarter, of course. Looks like they're going to get all the gens. Ah, oh, but not quite the node. Scared off by the heretics there. 
287 to 266 on the VPs. Atenso's in tier 3. And. Hmm, would they go tank here with the tank busters? They could get a Nurgle tank, and it would be pretty damn tough. So a little pulse of damage there, that's because these chosen plague marines passively damage nearby enemies. Like an icon of Nurgle effect. Kind of probe the sides again. Yeah, maybe a late jump with the Storm Boys would be better. Instead of trying to start the fight with the jump and getting them focused. Again, I think the Angry Bits would do some good work here for Fuku Hunter. Charge in from a flank, knock everything over, get some darker going, then jump in the Storm Boys, maybe. It is a, pre a Chaos Predator for the Tenso. Happy to cap wreck points at the moment. They might be forced to jump here and the Chosen Plague Greens will say hello if they do. They're choosing to back off, which is probably smart. Warboss grab that. Does not want to go mid yet, though. They do have their tier 3 rolling. And decent chunks of income. 50 more power, they could get a knob squad. Here's a bunch of Daka. How small the Gretchens are. It's hard to target them. There's a good foot of walk. Good hit on the Chosen Plague Marines, but they are tough bastards. 2,000 hit points on those fellas at level 1. Oh, they didn't go for the Shrine. Warboss didn't go for the Shrine. Goes for the Chosen Plague Marines. They do explode on death, these guys. There's a good warp vomit. Weird Boy, I think, should be targeting the CSM here. So that they don't do friendly knockback and stuff. Boss is killing models. Now they've switched targets, I think, but they've taken a lot of damage, this weird boy. Might go down. They got a, you got a retreat off that shot, Mr. Weird Boy. They go down. Fufu Hunter lost track of them. And now that is a Mark of Noble Chaos Predator on the field. And I think the Warboss might die. The Warboss does die. Commando's on the way now for Fufu Hunter. I don't know, says Fufu Hunter. Where are the tank busters? Why are they not barraging that shrine down? They're off capping somewhere. Commandos with burner bombs could do some good work. Shrines. Fufu Hunter does not like the shrine. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but you have the tools to deal with it. Tank busters are great at dealing with that thing. Looks like those Havocs bash that power. The tank does not care about the Orcs. Just trundling forward here. Good damage with that noble shell. Look at that. It's a great place for it to shoot in the midst of a bunch of shooter boys. Commandos are in though. And then Nob Leader gets a rocket launcher and he's in there too. Warboss being down is a big deal though. Because he can do a lot for you. Just got repurchased. Take champion still down over there. Commando is being sneaky. This tank just has so much hit points. Also gets health regen and some melee resistance. Can they finish off the tank busters? Not quite. More damage in on the tank though, eh? It's alright. Should they have got a knob squad up though? I mean, I know it has melee resistance, but the, the damage of a Nurgle tank isn't really going to threaten a knob squad very much. So they could basically just ignore it. Let's yeah, call the boys. Reinforcing those squads around the Fufu Hunters war boss there. They got a zombie as they landed, I think. A lot of Stormboy zombies popping up there. Warboss level 6. He's a tough old fella with that spiky armor. But they just got. Ouch, they got messed up. Were they standing in their own burner bomb? Or was that. Did they get a commando zombie or something and throw a burner bomb? I'm not sure what happened there. GG. 
is what they say. Chosen are worse than the shrines. It's not like the Nurgle stuff. Well, there's the end of it. The Tenso victorious. So many dead orcs over here. That was awesome. Level 6 war boss. Level 3 plague champion. I think that second death dread was was the beginning of the end for Fufu Hunter. And I'm surprised I let that shrine stand for so long. I'm not sure. Maybe I missed something about what the tank busters were doing. I mean, they bashed the, the power here. That was good. But they could have come in and got a barrage and a volley and taken out that shrine because that shrine was a big pain in the ass. Good game, though. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.